Okay, <laughs> we are live. Not live, but um, I hate it when I say live, don't you? I've never been live. She's never made a YouTube video. What is up, fam? Hi. I guys. hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, hey, so I'm gonna like start vlogging a little bit more, you know, just personal life and stuff like that. And you know, today me and Judith celebrate uh, five months five together. Months. And a friend of mine in barely is like, so when's y'all's anniversary? And we looked at each other like, oh my god, it's five months. And we're just like, what the heck? Anyway. And so, you know, a lot of people are sometimes ask us, how do we meet? So, um, <laughs> baby, tell them how do we meet? We met at my job at Sport Clips. Look at the camera right there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, his dad was my regular client of mine, and he recommended Ryan to go with me because I was good at cutting hair, so... <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> He came, and well, actually, one of my coworkers told me, "There's someone here for you that's waiting for you, and I don't know what." So I asked him, "What's his name?" He's like, "They're like Ryan De La Rosa." I'm like, "I don't know nobody Ryan De La Rosa." So then I went out and I saw him there by himself in the corner, alone, like a loser, <laughs> <laughs> like, like friend zoned loser, <laughs> like. And well, that's actually how we met at my job. Yeah, and it was one of the <laughs> best, and I give props to my father for hooking us both up together because it was one of the best things he's ever done in my life. I feel like he did that on purpose. And it was the best thing too, like <laughs> legit awesome. And like, um, I don't know, a lot of times we do weekly devotionals, and why well, do weekly devotionals? And you know, one of the things I always ask, uh, is always like asked of me is, you know, how do you and like Judith, you know, function in a very healthy relationship? Well, I just want to say the answer is just we keep Christ in the center of our lives. Um, always. Because always. I mean, without God in the center of our relationship, there is no relationship. And you know, we we always try to put God before both of us. Like I try to put God before her and. You know, she does the same and we're not saying that because we we don't love each other I mean we absolutely love each other and honestly it's a huge blessing for me that I get to actually continually date this girl this gorgeous girl like the best girl ever and um, it, it's a blessing for me and, it, and it, it goes with my testimony of what I've been through and uh, you know she's been my encourager my supporter my my best friend and you know we till this day we're still going we're going stronger and stronger and stronger and you know it, it's amazing and it's a blessing to know and that people always tell us that they're like oh yeah you know you guys are like couple goals and yeah a lot of that role model relationships and it, it's a blessing to hear that and so you know we, we just well first of all I just praise God and thank God just for that and things like that so that's that's a good tip to always keep God in the center of your relationship because if you don't, everything's just gonna go downhill very bad. I mean, I know by experience, so <laughs> always keep God at the center, and I'm pretty sure that if you do, you're just gonna love each other unconditionally. Yeah, because. But always love God first. Yeah, because God <laughs> loved unconditionally. And for those of you people who were single, because I was in that boat for about 23 stinking years. 23 stinking years. <laughs> um, like I said before, wait. You know, there's no rush. You do not need to be in a relationship. You know, people are always telling goals to people. You know, it, you do not know the process it took for them to get into their relationship. You don't know the process we went to to get in our relationship. And when I first told her that I liked her and I wanted to be her boyfriend, she said... No. I didn't say no. I said wait. She said it's, it's either no or wait. But anyway. Because I really liked him too. But she said, ultimately she said, I don't. And this, <clears throat> mm, the Lord is good. She said, I want my last relationship or my next relationship to, to be, be my last life. relationship. And I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> so, um. We, you know, we're, we're praying and we're believing that God is just going to, you know, do what he wants to through us. And, you know, we know that 
this is not by, you know, divine chance that, you know, I mean, this is not coincidence. This is like God ordained that, you know. Definitely. Especially because I actually prayed about my husband when I was single. <laughs> and here comes Ryan walking down oh, yeah. sports clips saying, I need a haircut. Give me a haircut. <laughs> That's funny. But, you know, um, and in your time of being single, my encouragement is just, you know, pray for your relationship. But while you're praying for your relationship, don't flaunt yourself. Don't be with other people. Don't be. Don't throw yourself in a position where you're gonna lose that moment, like that that purity, you know, that God has given you. So you know, always stay true to the course, and always, you know, love on God no matter what, and always keep the people that are around you close because when you keep them close. That's the best thing that they, that you can do. Do you have any other tips you want to leave these um, lovely people, if whoever wa whoever watches? Um, I guess also for the single people out there, um, just pray for your your the person that you want. You know, I mean, be specific about it if you want to. If you can, um, just pray that you know God give me someone that will actually you know, serve God more and fully with his heart or him or her, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but um yeah, just just pray about it. Well, Rudith is tired and uh, we're gonna sign off now. Oh my gosh. Oh okay. my gosh, just six minutes. Almost seven. And it is ten forty, so we're gonna go get shampoo and what else? I need to go get shampoo. Toothpaste. And toothpaste because our breath smells right now actually. <laughs> But fam, we'll see you later.